Hey friends, it's Jacqueline here. In today's video, I'm bringing you a try on haul, first impressions, get ready with me type of video of the products that I show on my latest luxury haul. And I'm talking about the new VCR Soleil La Plage palette, also some Vanessa Myricks contour product, some Dior lipstick, as well as a new Surat liquid blush and the new Samantha March and Ofra collaboration. But before we get started, and if you're new here, I hope that you can give me that opportunity and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads and come and follow me on my Instagram. And now, if you want to see how I achieve this look using all these new products and much more, then just keep on watching. By the intro of this video, you know that we're going to be trying new makeup that I have hauled lately. But before I need to prep my lips, they feel really, really dry. I don't know why. I have been drinking plenty of water. I mean, like, yeah, plenty of water. But I, I feel like my lips, and even when I wake up in the morning, I feel like so dry. So I have been using this new Laneige lip treatment. And honestly, it's really nice. It actually plumps your lips feeling kind of like a cooling sensation so I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this I really love Laneige products and this is not the exception so let's just prep the lips right here and I already have my foundation and concealer on I also made my brows I will be leaving all the details of my makeup on the description box below so what's next okay to try something for contour or bronzing and i have heard the best things about this the nessa myricks balm contour i got it in the shade medium two and honestly when i received it i you know i feel like this could work really well as a contour bronzing situation let's take a peek right here how to open this up okay well here is the packaging very nice okay so you just press right here and then you just open up as you can tell the shade looks not too cool not too warm kind of like middle of the road neutral i'm gonna be using the same brush that i used to spread my foundation today is this it cosmetics heavily looks complexion perfection brush number seven i don't know is that too much okay let me just Kind of like located in certain areas of my face and then let's just blend it in okay it blends in with easy and like i was saying these can really work well not only for contour but also for bronzing up your face i have tried the cream bronzer from the nessa myricks and it's really nice one it's more emollient yeah it's a little bit more creamy well, this one, it's a little bit more dense, but when I say dense, I'm saying it in a really good way, you know, in, in the sense of like, it doesn't sleep and slide. Same thing with the <laughs> bronzer from the Nessa Myrick. It's not that it's going to sleep and slide, but it's not, it's more creamy than this. <laughs> I really do not know how to explain myself sometimes because I feel like if I say that it's a sleep and a sliding, then you're going to feel like, oh no, this product is not for me, while well, you most likely may want to try it. I'm going to contour a little bit my jawline. You know what? Honestly, this product has a lot of pigmentation, so go lightly with that. But the beauty of it is that it applies so easy. I mean, yeah super easy so far so good i really enjoyed how easy it was to spread this contour that actually really worked for me really well as a bronzer too so now let me jump in into blush so i went ahead and picked up one of these surat artistic liquid blushes it comes in four different shades i went for the shade canto loop and if you have watched my latest luxury haul video i showed to you <laughs> <laughs> made a little bit of a mess when I was trying to get the product out so anyhow friends this is the way it comes and as far as the applicator goes it's a sponge applicator and it has a little hole in the middle now I haven't tried it I just went ahead and when I was doing my haul video I wanted to see the shade and I just you know got a little bit of the product out so you just need to twist this twist. Right here. 
Mm -hmm. It did the same thing for me before. Like it took. Oh my gosh, this is speed on me. Thank goodness it didn't wear on my clothing. Okay, so you may want to be careful when you apply this product. But anyhow, I got enough right there. I really love this shade right here. It's a beautiful orangey shade. Let's give it a go. And by the way, the product is made in Japan and it does have a shelf life of 12 months, which is fairly typical for liquid blushes and cream products in general. Usually we see them having like 12 months shelf life, sometimes 18 months, kind of like at the most. Okay, I don't know, it's like, it's hard to get product out. I don't know. Oh, there you go. It does have a beautiful finish. Let me just apply a little more. And it does have not that much pigmentation. I mean, I have applied more than I usually do with other liquid blushes to really be able to see that beautiful shade. And by the way, I will be leaving all the details of my foundation matches on the description box below. I do have a light to medium skin tone. But I really love also the translucency of this product. It leaves your skin looking a little bit more, I shouldn't say dewy, but it does have a little bit of like a radiant finish. It's not mad. Very pretty, very pretty shade. Mostly right now for summertime. I feel all that, you know, spring summer vibes. I even put this little kind of <laughs> yellow jacket just to feel all the vibes of the spring. Super cute. Okay, and then with this product, the only thing is that it keeps coming out product out of it. I don't know if that's normal or not, but I'm just gonna close it and whatever I have on my hand right now, I'm just gonna apply more because I don't think that you will overdo it with this blush. And honestly, I love, love the shade. It's just so lovely, so gorgeous. And during the Sephora VIB sale, I went ahead and picked up another one of these Dior Backstage Face and Body Powder No Powder. You know guys, I have been loving it. I review this product right here and I decided to get the shade number 3N. So I got the shade first number 2N, which is perfect for me, but then as I'm getting a little bit more color, <laughs> I decided to get a shade deeper. I'm gonna be using my La Mer brush. I love this powder because it does have a little bit of radiance without having any shimmer, but it just leaves your skin still looking like a skin. Very, very pretty. If you like the Gucci powder, you will like this powder. It's not as perfecting as the Gucci powder, but it does a trick and the price is fair for being a Dior product because it obviously is from the backstage line. Now for highlighter, let's jump into this Samantha March Life's a Draft. This is the PR package. I didn't receive it on PR. This is something that I bought myself because I love Samantha. I wanted to support her and the package came with the palette as well as the lip glosses right here. So I really want to use that highlighter from the palette is this one right here and the shade is dream chaser i'm gonna go ahead and grab my refer 20 brush which you guys know that is one of my favorite brushes for highlighter and in fact right now hopefully this is still on stock but they put it on the concept store which is about 40 percent off i actually got two backups each of them were i think 16 or 15 dollars there's other brushes right there too. And then also Refer is coming out with a lash curler, which that makes me super excited too, because if you don't know the owners of Refer, they are engineers. So I'm just very, very interested to see how is that lash curler. Anyhow, friends, go for Dream Chaser. Ooh. Wow. What a beautiful highlighter. Look at that, you know? Is I mean like for being an over highlighter is beaming, but it actually looks like a glow from within. It does have a little bit of champagne in it, but oh my goodness, it looks wet on the skin. It's so beautiful. Oh, 
looking so pretty. And I have heard Samantha that, I mean, she didn't say that it was going to happen or not, but perhaps, you know, because it has been such a huge hit, it may come back in a single. Mm, we don't know, but it's gorgeous. Once again, congratulations, Samantha, for this collaboration with Ofra. Everything is so beautiful. I know I need to try more from this, but the highlighter itself, oh my gosh, is so gorgeous. It's just so beautiful right there. For eyeshadow, I do have this VCR Soleil La Fache palette. This one I purchased it directly from VCR's website, but I think I have seen it right now in a few other websites. Again, I'll be leaving everything on the description box below, but look how beautiful is this packaging right here. I think they did an amazing job and this is the, your typical easel kind of compact you get a mirror right here and these are the shades totally summer vibes so pretty let me just go ahead and use i think i really want to use this blue one right here but because i also have yellow i also want to use the yellow let's jump in and let's just create something That with my eyeshadow look, I just went ahead and applied mascara, a little bit of eyeliner on my waterline, and then a liquid eyeliner too. Again, everything will be on the description box below. What I think about this palette right here, I think, I mean, it's a great formulation that we love about BCR. Everything works seamlessly fine. I really enjoy the color story. It's very summer appropriate. I love the shades that they chose. I will have to say though, I wish to have seen kind of a middle shade between these two to deepen out. It didn't need it to be necessarily brown. It could have been something along the lines of this shade right here or I mean like just one other shade or even a blue one, just something a little bit different instead of having two of these shades right here. Although they are different, one is more like rose gold tone and the other one is more champagne tone. I mean, we have plenty of these shimmer shades right here. So I wish that they could have just forego either, I will say perhaps this one right here. This one is kind of like more common to find and just kept this one right here and then give us another matte shade. But overall, I mean, I think this is a very much spring summer appropriate palette. I don't know about you guys, but at least me, mostly during summertime, I usually like to use very light makeup, tinted moisturizer. I don't like a lot of things on my eyes. That's perhaps why I have been loving so much the new Dior Summer 2021 collection. Talking about the eyeshadow queens right there, because although they're pretty sheer in real life, in person, they really give me that summer vibe look. And this accomplished that too. Beautiful formula, again, from BCR, as we know about. Now let's go to the lips. So I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with this Gucci lip liner. I have been enjoying this lip liner so much. Because the formula is really easy to work with, it's not one of those lip liners that they just set down and then you cannot move them or feather them out. This one right here is a really good liner. It's not gonna super last for a long, long, long time, but it does, I mean, it's a beautiful formulation. 
and by the way if i haven't mentioned this is in the shade nude 01 okay and now for lipstick dior has come out with three limited edition mother's day lipsticks the three of them they are shades they exist on the line of dior's lipstick but the embossy right here is just so beautiful that I decided to pick up one. I mean, like, I'm a mom, I'm all like, okay, give <laughs> me have an excuse. I love the embossing. There's like roses, flowers. It says Amour right there. I mean, I think it's just so beautiful. This is in the shade 100 Nude Look. Again, this is a shade that it exists on your lipsticks for a while now. This is a matte formula, but for being a matte formula, it's so comfortable, it's non drying at all and whatsoever. And then, because I have a little bit of this warm look, I really feel that I need a gloss. And on my latest purchase from Charlotte Tilbury's website, I actually purchased both of her new instant look of love in a palette. This base is right here. This one is in glowing beauty. I also have pretty blush beauty which is the lighter shade i have it by my desk because i had it to take a picture if you haven't watched my video reviewing both of the products i actually showcase them side by side the other one came in broken i mean it's beautiful no matter what so but anyhow i needed to report it obviously to charlotte tilbury take a picture send it to them so it's laid on my desk right now anyhow when i purchased those two palettes i went ahead and picked up this baby right here this is the charlotte tilbury jewel lips and this one is in champagne diamonds and i have been eyeing them for a while right now this is not a new product i think it came out last year was that in november or even September, I don't know, but this shade, I'm like, this is perfect for summertime. This is more like that bronzy tone, and it has a little bit of that golden in it, that I'm like, okay, I really want to try that. Just put it in the middle. Mmm, so pretty. Look at that. How beautiful is this? Okay, I think I need to buff a little bit my face, and a finishing powder that I have been enjoying a lot is this one right here from Giorgio Armani. This is in the shade 4. This is their new Luminous Seal Glow Fusion Powder. This baby right here. You have seen me try this baby before. I'm going to use my beautiful brush. I go like this because it reminds me of a bunny tail. This is the BK Beauty 102 brush. Such a good brush for applying finishing powder. I love this one to apply mostly my meteorites. Oh. This is kind of like made in heaven. And by the way, BK Beauty is having a Mother's Day sale. There's a really nice discount. I will be leaving it again on the description box below. I mean, don't miss it out. BK Beauty make amazing brushes. If you are not into natural hair bristle brushes and you want synthetic brushes, but that they feel fine, like really good quality, this is that quality, you know, really, really good quality. So anyhow, I'm just gonna use a little bit and I'm just gonna kind of disperse it a little bit on the perimeter of my face. I love to do this to just create an aura on my face and this powder is beautiful too. I love it that it's in a compact form as well. Hmm. Absolutely love it. And now let's set the makeup with the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray by Charlotte Tilbury. This is a great one if you want to lock your makeup, it will not go anywhere. Such a good spray. Mm, my goodness me love it oh my gosh i cannot begin to tell you how much i love my hair right now <laughs> i have been using this sisley mask and basically you use it at night time and then you leave your hair you know all soaking on this mask and then the next day you just wash it well, the mask is beautiful, but then I bought these new, I, I don't know if they are new in the market or new to me because I have, you know, guys, I love Oribe and I found this Shine Something Shampoo and Conditioner and I was like, okay, I really want to try that. So I did the mask from Sisley the night before, so yesterday night, and then today morning I wash it and condition it with these Oribe products. I will be leaving it on the description box below. And then I style it with my Dyson Air Wrap. And honestly, my hair feels 
so soft so silky and like it has life <laughs> it has life on me i just love it i mean like sorry going back to the makeup right here i love how my makeup turned out i think i love all the products that i use today the eyeshadow palette is gorgeous i really love the danessa myricks contour and it works for me like i said as a bronzer really well it looks beautiful the lipstick gorgeous too now about the blush i really enjoy the blush but it's a little bit sheer i mean i use plenty of product because as you saw i was trying to twist it twist it and it was coming out too much product and still i mean the shade is there but perhaps because of my skin tone i need a deeper shade so i'm wondering i think the shade papaya is different is it papaya or is not I don't remember but there's a deeper shade like orangey tone perhaps i will get that one right there and you know what my makeup looks really nice right now and i love the honey lighter from some of the orange it's beautiful it really looks like your skin is wet like so pretty so so beautiful okay my friends and i think this makes up for this video for this try on of new makeup new makeup to me too let me know if you have tried any of these products right here which products are you loving or which ones you have on your wish list i would love to carry on the conversation on the comment section down below and if you have not yet i hope that you can give me that opportunity and subscribe to my channel make sure you ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads and come and follow me on my instagram because i'm trying to get to my 10k in there and right there on my instagram i keep you posted of the new makeup releases when something is new is launching when something is on real stock we keep up with conversation about makeup also show you swatches close-up images of the products that i'm reviewing and much more so please come follow me there and if you like this video do not forget to give a thumbs up also share with family and friends and until the next time i hope you have a beautiful wonderful day bye Oh, 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 oh,